Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Bighorn, part number 70120, door and board lifter is what it is. Uh, a door lifter is um, a pretty common piece of equipment, uh, and let's take a look at it. We'll take some basic dimensions of it as well. First of all, weighs about 1.8 pound, so it's not very heavy. Um, it's less than two pounds. But I'll tell you that that is, in my opinion, not really an indication of its long-term viability in terms of it staying together. Um, but let's just take some dimensional properties and we'll go from there. Overall width of the unit, or well, just the length, just to put it into some sort of perspective. Overall, looks like it's about 12 and 3 quarter inch. The overall height when it's sitting on the floor we're going to gauge that there at about six inch. Okay, that's well, it's going to be less than that. It's probably going to be closer to about five and a half inch or so, maybe maybe five inch because that'll sit on the floor. Okay, the width of the lifting area is two inch. Okay, there's a rubber pad back here. That height of that area is about an inch and five eighths. Um, I don't know. Uh, door lifters don't have any sort of padding down here. Um, I might be tempted to, speaking from, from my perspective personally, I might be tempted to sand that very completely and uh, probably put masking tape over it. I might even go so far as to put a small bevel on the leading edge of this. I only say these things because I've lifted a lot of doors, I've machined a lot of doors, I've handled a lot of them, and you know. Uh, well, I'm also I'm also the person who once upon a time would never have dreamed of using uh, something that was actually going to make the potential for injury as close to zero as possible. Nowadays, I wouldn't dream of doing it without uh, the proper tools. Um, so let's talk about where exactly it is that you're going to use this item. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Now, where will you use it, and uh, why would you use it? Well, first of all, why? The why is because you need to get something moved off the floor, um, and where it is used in our industry is simply that you have um, a door. It could be a hollow core door. You may not use a door lifter when it's literally that light, but any solid core door, any door that's 18, any door you'll use it, but... Solid core doors, 3070, solid core inch and three quarter thick doors, 18 gauge hollow metal doors, those are heavy enough, that's for sure. Getting those moved up just that half of an inch, three quarter inch, to get it onto the hinge is a bit of an awkward situation that as you're kind of lifting it and trying to get it moved over, you do have the possibility of damaging the floor, the wall, the frame, the hardware, uh, and hurting yourself, uh, which is the real bottom line. Um, and really all you need is just a small assist with this because you've got the hinge leaves on the jam, you've got the other leaves of the hinge on the door, you've got the door in position, you just need to get it moved up, the knuckles of the hinge to mate together so that you can tap those pins down. That's what you need, um, and that's what this is for. A tool like this is used... The people who buy these from us, they all identify, according to me, by the following criteria. They are installers, locksmiths, handyman sorts, people who run into door work often. They usually work alone, and they're usually very experienced at what they do, experts in what they do. I don't have people out there who don't do a lot of door work ordering these. And I think you do have to get to a point in your career where you say, I need a better way to do this, uh, a better version of how to do this. But that's how I identify the folks that buy this material. They've been doing it a long time. They know the wrong way to do it. And they've realized that having installation tools is a benefit um, to them. But they're also types that, are, um, that do work alone. They don't have a helper or a partner 
locksmiths that hang doors. They, they, they work in a van, they work alone, and they take the tools with them, that, that sort of thing. That's who uses it. And then the why you're going to use it, you know, why risk injury to yourself when you, all you need to do is lift that off the floor just ever so slightly. So that's the person I think who's going to order this. Me personally, and, there are, and I've seen there are door lifters made by other people. This would be, in my estimation, the smallest that I've ever seen in terms of size and weight. Uh, weight is a reflection of the steel that's gone into making it, certainly. And I suppose what I'm attempting to infer by that is I don't know that I would use this in any other way other than being mindful of the fact that it's not going to tolerate being thrown in the back of the truck, you know, or just, you know, misused. Uh, you know, the material here seems certainly uh, substantial and capable of doing the job, but I might also be concerned with the durability of it. And what I mean by that is this. Other door lifters are far less sophisticated affairs. There is a long aluminum bar, very much longer than this, with a cylindrical rod of aluminum welded to the underside. There is an L bracket in the front. There are no moving parts. It is solid aluminum. And, you know, put your foot on it and lift it up. Much less elegant than this. I will uh, certainly um, have to say far less elegant. And um, the primary reason is if you notice the orientation of the lifting compo components, as I cycle it up, you'll notice that that stays level. That's a pretty smart situation. Um, and that's really what you uh, would prefer to have compared to the dumb, albeit extremely heavy-duty, aluminum concoctions, because you want that lifting arm to not get to a point where it's putting all of the force on the back edge of that door, or at some portion underneath the door. Um, you don't want to draw that much, uh, that small surface area with that much weight resting on it. Uh, I've seen lots of wood doors where you've gone to work on them for whatever the reason is, and you, you've touched the bottom rail of the door and you realized, oh, that sounds hollow. It's because the style that was used literally had a defect and should not have been used. I've run into the situation where I've taken full and square slabs and ripped them down uh, to pre-fit them in height to realize there's no wood left and now I'm stuck re-railing the door. You know, there's 45 minutes that I don't want to invest into it. Um, so this is a smart design. I guess my only uh, caution would be treat it, you know, as a tool that, you know, needs to be treated like any other tool, like your router, your planer tool, you know, instruments, you know, tools that are needing to be uh, treated uh, in such a way that you won't uh, risk them coming out of calibration, you know, something like this. Um, but I wouldn't hesitate to use it. I've never used this to lift a door, um, but I, I would suggest that you consider it. I like the smart design of it. Let's switch to the uh, screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. I was laughing in my head because I realized there's no installation instructions with this. It's like a spoon, you know, no one gives you installation instructions. You inherently know how to use it. Let's switch now and take a look. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at, okay? We have some images posted down below. Easy foot operation to lift, swivel, and lower. The swivel is a unique feature to this as well. It raises up to two and three eighths. Maximum weight 165. Uh, you know, a 16 gauge 3670 door that's going to be out there if you're trying to lift a uh, 32nd or a 16th of an inch lead line door. Uh, be mindful. The maximum weight of this is certainly well beyond what a single person should be attempting to lift, but those doors that require. Um, two people to lift for sure uh, to swing and are going to be in excess of this you'll want to be mindful that this tops out at that point um, you know what does a doorway you know common doors are going to be 110 pounds plus or minus 16 gauge 14 gauge lead lined uh, very large 4090 could be 18 gauge but a 4090 or 4080 is going to be pretty heavy stuff so be mindful 
Ideal for carpenters, pila uh, plasterers, dry liners, and locksmiths. Obviously, lifting drywall. Uh, very common that you'll see drywall lifters. Um, that's why they call it a door and board lifter. Other images that are posted here. The box. The unit itself. The lifting portion. Rubber pad on the bottom to keep it where you want it to stay, hopefully. There you go. Extended description information is here as well. Door and board lifter, foot operated lifter to support door while fitting to frame. Same stuff we just went over, 165 pound max, will rotate, non-marring foot pad, okay? Uh, product brochure, let's take a look at that. This page is a uh, section out of their catalog that relates to door tools. Uh, so the most relatable sister component to this would be the self-adjusting door holder. So if you drop your door down into this, it will keep it on its side so that you can then do your hinge uh, prepping, your lock prepping, whatever work that you're doing to the uh, vertical styles and the horizontal rails at that point um, is pretty handy. Another tool that I would recommend purchasing would be a corner chisel. Um, put your hammer and, and one inch chisel back in their toolbox. These are, buy two of them. Um, this is a major time saver. I have saved hours of my life by using a uh, corner chisel. So there's the product brochure. Uh, other installation aids for their lock kits are in here. There is a link also below this video here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Bighorn products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as link to the full product catalog. I don't know how much larger that catalog is than the four pager we just looked at um, when it comes to the product line of products that we're working on, the door installation aids. Their full line catalog is far larger because this, this company gets into uh, a comprehensive offering of not disparate uh, products, associated products, other items that you might end up needing. If you're prepping doors and frames or if you're installing them, you probably would want to tear through here uh, to see if there's a solution outside of the reason you're looking at this door lifter. Um, this uh, portable air cleaner duster, I have used these for decades, in fact. I own not this one, but the concept. I own three of them by another manufacturer who I think discontinued them. Um, if you have a very small shop, you're going to want this. Um, you, uh, they are effective. They are easy to turn on and off. Uh, I don't believe this one has a remote, but others do. Um, the filters are available, and you can also do a home center s uh, style filter. These absolutely make a difference. Uh, I can speak from personal experience that they absolutely make a difference. If you are producing more dust than this can handle, you need solutions for the machine that's creating the dust. So interesting catalog. I would definitely look into it if I were you. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So I wouldn't hesitate to use this. I would also not look to test its limits in terms of door weight. Um, that could be an invitation to break your tool uh, if you're trying to lift an eighth of an inch 307 lead line door. This, this won't be the unit for you. Uh, Bighorn, they're responsive. They ship material out. They're simple, no nonsense. Uh, they, keep it, they keep it that way and, and for that we appreciate it. Any questions on the Bighorn 70120 door lifter or any other Bighorn product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.